So I'm a PhD student currently at Cambridge University and I'm studying um, the meltwater, the transfer of meltwater across Antarctic ice shelves. Um, so the way I do that is to write algorithms that feed in satellite imagery, identify meltwater and then track those systems. So a typical day in my life now is um, nice. I think I have a good work-life work balance. I get in at about nine, half nine, and I spend about an hour answering emails. I teach the students a lot, so um, answering questions with students. And then once I've batted away those emails, I can really start researching. And I can kind of structure the day how I'd like to. So normally in the morning, I'll do my writing. So if I'm writing a paper or applying for a conference, that's when I would write, because that's when my mind's at its best. And then in the afternoon, I do more processing, so looking at the data. My time at Durham, um, I think prepared me in the best way it possibly could have um, for the career I want. The modules are really set up for um, extending your career in physical geography, and I don't think there's actually a better programme out there. Um, the remote sensing modules in particular really taught me the skill sets I needed in GIS, in spatial statistics, and that um, really put me at an advantage moving forward into my PhD. So I think that's probably the best thing Durham gave me. And I really got into Antarctica during my time at Durham. So I was supervised by Chris Stokes in my third year, um, but he also taught me during my first and second years also. And I said to him, I'd really like to do a dissertation on Antarctica, particularly one of the glaciers. And I'd seen a lot about it in the news and we'd been reading about it and I knew it was something I was passionate about. So Chris just kind of said, yeah, that's great, let's go for it. Um, and we looked at the different remote sensing methodologies we could use to study Antarctica. Um, and that's kind of where everything took off. So I produced this dissertation, which looked at carving events from two glaciers called Mertz and Ninnis. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. Chris was really supportive. And from then on, I kind of knew that that's what I wanted to do with my career. So at Durham we had guest talks organised and guest speakers come in and one day somebody came in to give a talk on the work they did in glaciology and I think that really inspired me and made me realise that I could make a career out of glaciology and it didn't just have to be something I really enjoyed in my degree. So it was through the talk that happened here that I was able to then pursue what I wanted to do in the future. Um, I think my time in Durham was not only defined by uh, the academics that I undertook, but equally the city itself. I think it's actually the most beautiful city in the country and one day I'd really like to return here. Um, the, the thing that really stood out was the, the sense of community. So the people around you, the support you had, but also the relaxed nature of the whole city. Um, the city isn't too stressed. Um, and you can really feel that as you walk around. You can really um, enjoy life, take it slow, but equally produce really good work.